Israel seals the single gate into Gaza after further strikes. In reaction to overnight rocket firing, Israel announced it would restrict its loan gate from Gaza Strip for employees on Sunday, but it will not carry out retaliation attacks in an apparent move to defuse tensions. The rocket assaults on Friday night and Saturday morning came after days of rioting and a month of deadly bloodshed at Jerusalem's volatile Al-Aqsa Mosque complex. The unrest has stoked worldwide worries of a bigger confrontation, one year after similar violence erupted in an 11-day war between Israel and Gaza-based terrorists. Following the rockets fired from the Gaza Strip toward Israeli territory last night, it was decided that crossings into Israel for Gazan merchants and workers through the Eris crossing will not be permitted this coming Sunday, according to Kogat, an Israeli Defense Ministry unit responsible for Palestinian civil affairs. According to Palestinian and Israeli reports, two rockets were launched from Gaza into southern Israel on Friday night, one reaching the Jewish state and the other missing and impacting near a residential structure in northern Gaza. According to the IDF, a third rocket was launched into Israel on Saturday morning, with no air raid sirens sounded for any of the launches. They occurred after rocket strikes on Wednesday and Thursday, and as Israeli police fought with Palestinian protesters at Al-Aqsa Mosque, putting at least one man in a bad condition in the hospital. Israel has replied with air strikes in the past, but this time, in an apparent effort to avoid additional bloodshed, it moved its reaction to the severe economic measure of blocking Erez, hinting that subsequent missiles would increase the punishment. The crossing's reopening will be determined based on a security situational assessment, Kogat noted.